Hey everybody, welcome to today's wild card reading. Let's see whose energy is coming in for the wild cards today. Hope everybody is doing well out there. This is for my wild cards. Remember guys, don't try to make any of this fit. If it does not resonate, it simply doesn't resonate for you. If it does, then only take what actually does resonate. Let's jump in. Let's see your energy first. And remember, I'm pulling your energy, their energy, and energy between us. It can be flipped. The energies could be flipped. You take it how it resonates for you. Your energy. We've got mysterious. Secrets are kept from you. There are missing pieces. Puzzle pieces. The problem remains unresolved. Cannot be explained if not fully understood. I don't understand what the hell's going on with the other person here. They got me all discombobulated and confused. Let's get a little bit more here. Ooh, discovery. Ooh, finding a way forward, seeing the hidden truth, a power of self-awareness. Um, just, just what this energy is telling me on your energy, you can't figure the other person out. They be coming across probably to you as just wishy washy, un, 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 I, I, I want to say unstable, but I'm not meaning unstable, just inconsistent about things, uh, which has really got us truly in an emotion a little bit of emotional overwhelm of trying to figure it out trying to figure out what's wrong and in that process of trying to figure out what's causing some of their issues uh we're pointing it back to ourselves. what am i doing am i doing this to them am i causing this that kind of thing energy between us we've got silent treatment going on hot and cold immature behavior passive aggressiveness guilt for past actions not acknowledging their fault let's see the other person's energy please in this pop we've got closed off uh-huh emotionally unavailable and avoidant not willing to express heartfelt feelings heart chakra needs healing past traumas major love blockage Somebody just don't know how to express themselves and don't know how to communicate in a connection. Um, when we're closed off like this, guys, it, it truly is. And I can understand your energy over here of this person does not know how to calmly voice when they have doubts or insecurities or they're upset about something. They don't voice it. They shut, they sh shut off. They immediately go into this, but I don't want to say it's immature, guys. It, it, it's, it sort of is, but it's more of undeveloped bonding skills that we learned early in life. Uh, they just close down and go silent, and they hold everything in instead of being able to calmly say to someone, look, this upsets me. Can we talk about this and in a calm way? Let's think a little bit more on them. Sacrifice, giving up a prized possession, making a diff decision for a greater cause. The act of surrendering to appease someone. Wow, surrendering my voice, surrendering what I want, my desires uh, to keep someone else happy. That's, that's their like trauma from childhood is just shut down, keep your mouth shut. What you want doesn't matter. Just uh, make everybody else happy. Do what everyone else wants you to do. What you want, what you got to say, what you feel does not matter. That's what's going on with this person over here. And it's thrown us for an absolute loop over here. And it's got us questioning ourselves. What am I doing that's causing it? You're actually not doing anything um, because the person is carrying some trauma. Bottom of the deck, we got love letter. Revealing heartfelt emotions, forgiveness for past wrongs. Open the line of communication, the unspoken hidden truth. That's the undercurrent energy. Let me grab some water, guys. The undercurrent energy is showing patience on your part in hopes of this person is going to open up. It's going to be hard for them because this is from their whole life. Their whole life has been programmed. They've been programmed to do this. Mm -hmm. Um. 
circumstances and how they coped with um, early life. That's how they coped was to close off. But it leaves this of uh, the brooding, the, the pressure building of I don't matter. My feelings don't matter. And then them getting upset, not understanding why can't somebody read my damn mind to know that I'm upset about something. That's the immature child part of it, guys, is, is not being able to not expect someone to read their mind, to actually open up and communicate what's going on with them. I want to see how they're triggering you over here on your energy. Let's see what the depths of some of the uh, emotional, mental triggers you're getting over here. We've got disoriented. Mm-hmm. Reckless behavior. We may be getting pissed off and think of reckless behavior as just getting pissed off about I'm done. I'm done. I got more patience with this. Because like I said, that uh, on that self-awareness is actually turning that uh, telescope onto ourself of trying to figure out what we're doing wrong that's causing this issue. And uh, it's, it's going to get on our nerves after a while of you know, I'm not really seeing where I'm doing something wrong. I'm trying, but we're going to get fed up, and it may have us just taking off. Yeah. What else? We've got childhood trauma. Oh, you've got something going on also um, on a, a trauma level. Let's see more on your trauma. What's, what's going on? You've been disoriented, and it pushes you into reckless behavior. And guess what, guys? The center energy. Got you shutting down also, suffering in silence. Uh-huh. And and where you turn in that critical eye on yourself, you should be asking the person, you should be opening up communications and going, you know what? <laughs> I feel like I've done something wrong. You want to tell me what I've done wrong? We wouldn't do that. We would just go silent. But it's pushing us into, uh, like I said, some reckless behavior. What else? Anything else on them? Yeah, real regrets after the reckless behavior. Ooh. Come in over here. Let's see the depths of their triggers. Closing off. I'm not supposed to. My, my feelings, my thoughts don't matter. My opinions, I should always keep it to myself. Nobody really cares. But I really wish they would. I wish really, really wish somebody... Would read my mind? <laughs> yes. Breaking point. Oh, this person gets to a breaking point. Mm -hmm. And sometimes breaking point is not an explosion. It's, it's more of a breakdown Im implosion onto self. Oh, we go totally silent and withdrawn from the world. Mirror reflection. Yeah. Looking ourselves in, in the mirror and not understanding ourselves. We've got naked truth coming out. Trying to wash that away. Don't want, I don't want to look at the truth about things. Uh, sorrow and remorse. Tell me more about the sorrow and remorse. I'm feeling it more as disappointment in, in trust, trust issues. Disappointment in, you know, not, not just other people in their life. Not just the world, but in the divine of where where's my divine counterpart? Where is the person that can read my mind? Where is the person that can look at me and, and know what's going on with me without me having to tell them? That's unrealistic, guys. I'm sorry, but it's unrealistic for somebody to carry that with them of we have to we have a mouth a voice for a reason and it's to talk to each other calmly learn to communicate and talk to each other not just read the body language not just make assumptions about what someone's thinking or feeling but to actually express it shame and guilt's on the bottom of the deck the shadow part poor self-esteem and insecurities up under that shame Mm, okay, let's keep going here. In the connection, let's bring it back to the connection uh, between the two of you. Let's see a little bit more here. I'm going to come in on your energy. I want to see where this is 
got you right now in the present moment? Where's your energy at in the present moment on the bottom of the deck? But let's do the full shuffle just in case. Ooh, we are trying to fix something. And she is like uh, lulled into zombie, <laughs> zombie state. I don't know how else to put it. She's staring, guys. It's like I'm just doing the same thing over and over, trying to fix something, get it to flow together. But I'm not even thinking about what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Rote behavior. Think of rote, rote way of dealing with something uh, without giving it much thought. So it is it's showing we've got trauma also. And we're acting in a like an automated state from subconscious programmings of how we dealt with that trauma earlier on. Over here in the connection, let's see their energy. Trying to run away and get away from the stress. I need to get away from the stress. Mm -hmm. And but feeling stuck. I can't. I want to go over there. I want to go. I want to get away from this, but I can't because my feet are stuck. They're feeling stuck in it. They they actually uh, their run away is more of the in going into silence. Uh, the furthest they would run away is to the bed, <laughs> the bedroom. <laughs> I'm going to bed and I'm not getting up for weeks at a time. I'm not coming out. That kind of thing. We're over here, we're doing basically sort of the same thing, but we, we're, we've we got more action going on, but it's rote action. And like I said, it can involve the reckless, I feel disoriented, suffering in silence, and then we got a lot of regrets for whatever it is that we took that reckless action on. This person shuts down totally. Bottom of the deck, we're both uncomfortable in this. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one thing about this card is uh, Ciro Marchetti's uh, strength card, uh, Leo energy in the background. All those portraits are taming the inner beast, but also taming the outer beast. You're either taming it and training it at the same time of this is what I'll accept and this is what I'll not accept. And you have to voice it. You have to talk about it. <laughs> To be able to get get things clear so we can have a good understanding of each other of where we really get to know each other we've got a breakdown uh, going on where we're, we're not getting to know each other at all because we're shutting down in our own ways but and, and it is trauma on both sides guys and how we've dealt with it our whole life we keep we keep Reigniting the trauma, reliving the trauma um, for ourselves when we're trying to connect and bond with someone. Let's come in on the silent treatment. I want to see uh, uh, what's coming out on that. We've got Ace of Wands, passionate new beginnings. We definitely want passionate new beginnings, but sometimes the passion, we're not unleashing it. This card actually in the ghostly tarot, guys, it reminds me of a two of wands. It's a young emperor standing still and won't go over the threshold. It's standstill energy. I'm standing still, evaluating it, thinking about it. And I can stand there a long time and never get a new beginning going because uh, I won't step over that threshold. We got a nine of cups, wishes granted. Ooh. Hang on. Clarify the wishes granted. Because it's think of wish fulfillment. What's um, emotional? Ooh, passionate energy. I want more passion in this connection. But yet we're shutting down. Let's see what the equivalent. Because this is our energies between us. What would be more passion? Tell us, clarify what's passion. Three of Cups. If we had more kinship to each other had more fun if we could go out and just drink and have fun dance sun card Ooh, shine your light shine your light if we could be authentic with each other mm, and really talk calmly but what's what's there's a movie what was it <laughs> nicholas cage he rode the motorcycle this is what it's reminding me of I don't, I don't remember the name. Ghost, it was a ghost rider, guys. I don't know what it is. Ten of Pentacles. Abundance. Building something solid long term. If we could just do that. 
being authentic with each other. But what else is passionate? Passionate. Tell us about the passion. Maybe I need to just ask each one of you separately. No, it didn't. <laughs> oh, look here. We've got strength, taming the inner demons. And a queen of cups, compassionate and into compassion and intuition. I don't feel like over here, like I said, some somebody is like, I don't feel like the divine has brought me my divine counterpart that can actually know what I'm thinking and feeling without me having to tell them. And it might also be happening over here a little bit. Uh, yeah. But communications definitely have to come open to get that energetic understanding of each other. And it takes time. Time. Guys, take it, take it from somebody that's, you know, uh, over 30 years in second marriage. Uh -huh. 10 years in the first one. That one was a doozy. But over 30, what, 33? Coming up on 34 years now, guys. It takes time to achieve this to where we don't have to communicate. I don't, he doesn't have to tell me anything that I don't already know. But when he does, it confirms what I already picked up and, and know about him. And, same, you know, vice versa. It takes a long time, but it does require years of opening up and communicating with each other on a calm, non-emotional level. Of sharing our thoughts, our feelings, our dreams, our hopes, our concerns, our doubts. You don't know how many conversations I, you know, I've, I've had uh, with this man I've been with this long. Uh, are you just trying to bust my bubble and keep me from my dreams? And also, it's vice versa. You don't know how many times he has said that to me. And it's like self-check. Self-check because I'm in a partnership here. I want him to be happy. And he's supposed to want me to be happy and support each other's dreams here. Hmm. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and pull some messages. Um, because we go so silent, I am going to pull the ghosted decks. Mm -hmm. But we're going to do the energy between us. Between us. To start with on the ghosted deck. Which one do I want? Let's do this side of the deck for between us. And then we'll come out on each other when we go silence. Because it is like ghosting each other. We could be sitting in the same room. And won't even make eye contact and be like, hmm, screw you. Between us, pop, what's coming out? I just needed to disengage from the awkward conversations. It was kinder just to let it fade out than to try to explain and cause further hurt. Mm -hmm. Disengage from any kind of conversation. That's the energy between us. That's something we both do. It's both of our triggers. It's mirrored between us of yeah it's just i'm going to shut up i'm going to go do something reckless let's get in the mustang and just take off guys yes and over here they go completely silent they go in the bedroom they shut the door they get man cave whatever woman cave of uh, you know i'm not coming out i don't feel good they go into an, a, a darker a darker cave than than we do over here let's come in over here let's see what you can bring out when you go silent it just wasn't meant to be was it <laughs> are you saying that over and over to yourself this just was not meant to be mm -hmm, mm -hmm. over here on them let's see when they go silent when they decide to go see your ass what they saying Ooh. Oh, we got too much trying to come out. Hold on. There was one other one. Let's see if we can get it come out. Mm -hmm. I felt like you weren't being honest with me. I felt, I felt, sometimes I feel like you're not honest with me. 
I honestly forgot to respond. <laughs> My schedule is really busy and I'm juggling too many things. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you being honest with them when you said this. <laughs> Guys, they, but look, let's turn her up. So she pointing the finger back over here at this energy. Were you really being honest when you said this? I'm sorry. <laughs> I honestly just, no, you didn't because your brain was going, it just wasn't meant to be. Mm hmm. Ooh, they're reading some energy pretty good over here, guys. But we are also, yeah. What's on the bottom? I didn't want to officially break it off with you. I wanted to be able to come back in the future if I changed my mind. Is that how it's working out for us, that cycle of going silent on each other? I want to be able to come back. I'm not going to push it too far. Let's get a conversation going between the two of you. Mm. Oh, I figured I was going to have to pull a shadow deck, but the energy flopped down hard on this one. Mm -hmm. Come down hard on it. Oh, there goes fighting me. Let's see if I can get it to not fight. Make sure we got it. There it is. It was fighting for a reason. Mm -hmm. It's coming on you. Then we'll come center in the center. Whatever comes out is what you're saying. Both of you are saying in likeness towards each other and then them. Oh, I can't reach out. I can't reach out over here. What's this one? I knew it. I knew exactly what I was doing. I knew exactly what I was doing. I know how to play you. And that's coming from both of us. I knew exactly what I was doing. Your intellect arouses me. Ooh, over here on this person. Your intellect arouses me. Back over here on you. You broke my heart. You broke my heart. And I don't know why this happened. Mm -hmm. Now remember, in bottom of the deck, energy, guys, love letter, the open conversation, the calm, let's really talk. Come to the center. I can be myself with you. It's passive. You're asking each other that question. Can I be my real self with you? On your person. Let's see what's coming out. I Look at this. Your intellect arouses me. I admire you. I hope putting you up on the pedestal over here. They got an image of you. I'm going to stick with them for a minute. I saved your texts and messages. I don't forget anything you say or write to me. Mm -mm, I don't forget it. Anything else? Yeah. Ooh, I can't be with you. Did you say that to them, guys? Because this is coming across not them saying it. That they're recalling things you, you said. It's coming on you over here. I don't know what comes next. Because mm -hmm, I... Ooh. Because it wasn't, just wasn't, I don't think it was meant to be. We're getting, getting that phase. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stick with you for a minute. I don't know what comes next. Anything else? Yeah. I want you though. Mm -hmm. Come to the center. See that conversation between us right here. I watch your social media. I'm lurking. I watch what you do. I got my eyes on you. <laughs> I got my eyes on you. What else? I'm recovering. I'm recovering. Mm -hmm. Stick with the middle for a minute. There's more trying to come out on, on that middle conversation. We've got... We both know I'm not the one for you. We know, it, we know this ain't working. What? I miss hearing your voice, though. I miss I, I miss you when we don't communicate. Over here on this person. I remember every detail of that day. Guys, are we getting it on this person over here? They remember everything that you say, that you do. They don't forget it. It has significant meaning to them, and it, it's recording. I don't know how else to put it. It will keep coming back over and over to them what we've done, what we've said. Because over here, we're quick 
to be like, no, I don't think none of this is going, you know, it was meant to be. Bottom of the deck, I like seeing this one though, because it's, it's coming with that love letter. I love you unconditionally. May not like you all the time, but I love you unconditionally. Let's pull you some oracle cards, wild cards. Let's see what's going to come out. Oh, pop. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that I will work out for the best. Mm -hmm. Let's get a, a one more. This one is uh, soulmates attracting, nurturing and attracting love and relationship. See what wants to come out from my wild cards here. I love got to be so complicated, y'all. Ooh, what's coming out? Close your eyes and feel your spiritual connection to everything on this planet. Every person, animal, tree, and flower. Feel the ocean, the wind, the sky. All in perfect harmony. Moved by the one eternal flow of love. May not like you at the moment. And there's a lot of moments we might not going to like each other. But the unconditional, I care is still there anything else mm -hmm. love and respect your loved one's opinions but remain grounded in your own truth you are both wise and beautiful souls everyone has a piece of the truth a piece of the truth wild cards i hope it was helpful y'all stay blessed